Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, I will be sharing you a content that we come across while certain projects. That is, the clients want to view their data either by fiscal year or calendar year on the basis of selection of fiscal and calendar year. So let's see how we will do it. So let us first create the switch. To create switch, you need to make use of parameter. So create a parameter that is dy. Now I will be selecting list. I will be putting value one and for value one that is calendar. And if the value is two, then that would be fiscal. Click on OK. Just show the parameter. I click. Show parameter control. So I have pro I have created a switch option. Now let us create fiscal year. So in order to create fiscal year, I will be using order date. Now let me create fiscal year. So for that I will be using order date. So fiscal year if year sorry not year the month of order date is greater than equal to 4 then year of order date would be plus 1 because that is what the logic is because after every fourth month the fiscal year is greater than our current calendar year okay so that is what the logic is so else i will be returning the normal order date end and I will convert everything into the string so str and addition to it I will be adding fy hyphen that is for fiscal year click on ok so let me drag this and drop it here so I have created fiscal year Okay, so that's how it looks like. Now let me create the switch calculation so that when user will select calendar year, he would be able to view calendar and when he is selecting fiscal, the year will be converted to fiscal. So let me create a calculation for that. So that would be my year calculation. So case, case view by because that is the value that would be switching. When the value of view by is 1, then I will be returning year of order date okay let me convert this into string because my fiscal year is written type is string if the value is 2 then return fiscal year end now let me drag this here and drop it over here let me put this in front okay now let me switch this one so my calculation is working okay now let us even see what is the value of month that is inside it so convert this into this month greater than or let me convert it to script so my fiscal year 2016 contains jan 2016 to march 2016 fiscal year 2017 contains april 2016 to march 2017 so that is what we were intended to do on the basis of switch it would switch calendar as well as for fiscal year so these are some requirement that some of the clients demand and i hope that you would be able to implement this in your projects too so that's it for this session thank you